So if you're watching this video, you've probably been on self-improvement for a while now and you want to get your friends to join you. So this is my little untested theory on how to do so. Just think about the main traits of yourself that have drastically improved since you've gotten into self-improvement. For me, it was, well, it has been presence, confidence, and like speaking skills, I guess, because of this channel. Oh, and also mental clarity. So what caused those things? What caused me to be more confident? What caused me to be more present and focused? It was meditation and going to the gym. So think about those things that have helped you. And what was it about self-improvement that helped you build those things? So for me, I would be asking my mates, yo, try meditation, bro. Just for like five seconds. It's like this crazy trick. We actually know where you're at and you aren't an NPC anymore. Bro, go to the gym with me. We can actually get fucking shredded. Because if you tell them this whole self-improvement community niche thing, it's so overwhelming. It's this huge lifestyle that they don't want to commit to. They just want easy results. So the things that have helped you the most are probably the things that have given you easy results or the biggest return on your investment. Odds are, it's probably the gym, meditation, maybe journaling. Because if you tell them self-improvement as this whole niche thing, they will just see it as this overwhelming lifestyle that's just the TikTok trend that'll be gone in a week. Oh, try self-improvement, bro. What self-improvement? Oh, it's this thing where you actually improve every single pillar of your life. Write down my feelings? That's gay as fuck. Why would I want to not drink water to look better? And what the fuck is semen retention? That's how they will react if you tell them, yo, just get on self-improvement with me. Because if they actually look into self-improvement and they see all these different things, it's too much. It's too overwhelming. So to get them into that groove that got you into self-improvement, you need to focus on at most two things. For me, if I was to try and get my friends on self-improvement, it would be meditation and gym. But ever since I left high school, um, I never need to really go through that phase of just talking them a little bit less. They sort of just dish me anyways. So you know your friends better than I do, obviously. So think about the one thing that would help them the most out of those two. Maybe they're on TikTok all the time when they're around you. Tell them to try and do a dopamine detox or try and meditate for once. And the second thing is try and bring them fast results. For example, personal trainers, they will give you a huge calorie deficit diet in the first week for their new clients. And they'll look at the scale in a week and they will just be like, whoa, four pounds. Even though it isn't exactly ideal, but I'm guessing you could probably figure out a way to boost results in the first week. Even though it's not entirely beneficial, this is about motivating them. That they actually see the progress. But, here's the big but. If they do not want to do anything, of course you're not some messiah, like putting them onto the next earthly thing that will absolutely turn them into billionaires. If they do not want to join you, as J. Cole once said, if she don't want to be saved, don't save her. If he doesn't want to be saved, don't save him. Because in reality, yes, having other people develop themselves whilst you're doing the same with yourself is fucking amazing. But if they're not, and you are, they're just dragging you down. That's the sad, cold-hearted truth. So the best thing that you can do is to try and surround yourself with people that are either on the same grind as you, or maybe even a little bit ahead of you. Mentors, coaching, etc. Some personal notes to go along with this video is do not nag. What I mean by recommending is that if they ever come to you complaining about something, give them the solution. But do not be annoying. Don't say, oh, you're always sucking on that vape. Why are you always being gay, bro? Don't do that. That will just make them resent you. Even if you're right, and you probably will be, do not nag. And the second thing is, you are not God. 
Neither am I, neither is no one around us on self-improvement or not. Just because someone has changed their physique, changed their mental health, done all these good habits, now have a productive daily routine, can now deep work for five hours straight, does not make them God. So they do not have to follow you. And if they don't, who cares? At the end of the day, it's their choice, right? Some people do see the benefits of self-improvement. But those people most likely also see the work that this shit takes. Because this isn't easy. So those people probably see the work that it takes and don't want to do it. My recommendation for a situation like that is to just walk away and stop preaching. Unless they found a way to motivate themselves, they're just a waste of time. Don't do us easy, bro. Do us right. Peace.